guys, today I'm going to be bringing you the third installment of my fantasy baseball mock draft series and this will be the third one I do and maybe it's the last, I don't know, because we are getting closer to the fantasy baseball season and I'm actually going to mute this and I actually, my draft for my actual week, like my uh, competitive league, is this Sunday and we, draw the, we drew the names early. Uh, I think two days ago and I ended up with the first overall pick uh, believe it or not so I'm going to go into this mock draft like I am going to go in my fantasy draft this Sunday and with the first pick no doubt I'm going to take Trout there's pretty much no argument there unless you want to go for pitching in Kershaw but that's pretty stupid you could say that Gene Carl could be better if he hits more home runs and actually hits for upper 290 uh, upper 280s as you say but I just don't think he could do it and Mike Trout is pretty much the guy you want if you have the first pick. And my league is completely different than, like, if you see on your screen on the right side. You can see there's a second base shortstop position, a first base, third base, five outfields, and a bunch of pitchers. Mines, there's no second and short. There's no first and third. We have three outfield spots. And I don't know if it's left, right, center, or if it's just three outfield. We have a utility. We have a DH. We have five starters and then two relievers, I think, and then the bench and then the deal slots. But in this, McCutcheon went two, and I think it auto-picked him too. So <laughs> right off the bat, we get another auto-pick. I don't know. I think this person might be on auto-pick too because I don't think there's any question that it should take you long to see that you would pick uh, Giancarlo Stanton here. But I guess he doesn't know who to pick. And yeah, it looks like he's gonna go on auto pick. And I probably would take Stan here if you have the third or fourth pick and Goldschmidt and Stan's here. I would probably rather have Goldschmidt and Stan in over um, McCutcheon. But uh, yeah, that's just my idea, just be, uh, my opinion. Just because McCutcheon, I don't know if he'll get as much stolen bases. He's consistent as hell, but you get so much more upside with a Goldschmidt or Stan that could hit 20 more home runs than uh, McCutcheon can. And just driving more runs probably not in a better offense i would say i guess pittsburgh probably is the better offense out of the three so i don't know maybe you, yeah you probably could take mccutcheon second and shouldn't be mad with that so goldschmidt went fourth no surprise there like right here it's kind of a tough spot when you have the fifth pick and kershaw's the number one guy and this person took troy Tulitsky. okay but i would probably take cargo carlos gomez over um over uh kershaw and then miguel cabrera went and he um not um yeah, uh, ESPN, they have him rated so low, they have him 11th, and I would take him just outside the top five hitters. I'd probably rather have Trout, McCutcheon, Stanton, Goldschmidt, and probably Cargo, or Carlos Gomez over him, and then I would probably start taking Cabrera over Batista, Encarnacion, Abreu maybe, and definitely uh, Felix Hernandez, but... With the first pick, it kind of stinks. Same with the 10th pick or the 12th pick. It depends how big your league is. Once you pick, you have to wait the rest of the round, 9 more picks or 11 more picks or 7 more picks, how many uh, people are in your league. And then you have the last pick of the next round as well. And then you are able to get two back-to-back. -back. So um, we have, it looks like we're going to have somebody with an auto-pick here, and it's going to auto-pick him, Carlos Gomez. And if he fell to 9, I would feel like that would be a pretty huge steal with that. And... Yeah, so Felix Hernandez goes 10th. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'd don't. i rather have probably Encarnacion and maybe Cano. I don't think I'll take Batista over Cano maybe. I don't know. Because I don't want two Blue Jay players if you fall into this spot. But you're going to get a lot of home runs if you do. And actually, yeah, maybe I would take Batista and Encarnacion there. But it looks like he took uh, Felix Hernandez and then I think he has back-to-back -back picks. But, um... If I go to, like, I don't want to waste pitching early. The only thing I'm going to try to do is actually with my next pick, I want to get Chris Sale, and he's projected 24th, and I have the 20th and 21st, so he should be there. I want him over Scherzer, and then if I go to, I know he's injury prone, but he's just so good. And then if I go to all, I wouldn't mind if I can get a uh, Jose Altuve or Anthony Rendon or maybe a Freddie Freeman player there. And then I would take one of those three as well as Sale. But if Sale's gone, then I'd probably go with Scherzer. And if Scherzer's gone, yeah, then I don't know what to do. But look, Encarnacion went 12th and Batista went 13th. If that happens in your league and you can get Batista or Encarnacion in your second round, that is a steal. Because that's first round talent or early second round talent that you got. And 
you've practically just had two first round picks that really could play like first round picks. And then Rizzo 115, Puster Posey. I would not take Puster Posey. You could find a catcher, a super catcher weight. Like, I like Jan Gomes this year, Travis Darno, Mike Zunino, uh, Salvador Perez. And Yadier Molina is like the most consistent catcher in the league hitting wise. And he's going like in the 150s, like the 15th, 16th round. And that's a steal to get him. So I'm coming up with my second pick here. You can see how 2v just went. But if the three people go, one person's on auto pick. I should be able to get Rendon here. And I'm really hoping I can. But I like Adam Jones a lot. I drafted him in the second round last year. And he was just, he was consistent. About 281, hit about 30 home runs, about 100 RBIs. And he gets like seven stolen bases. He's pretty good second round talent. He's probably the most consistent guy you could take in the second round. And... He's just pretty good, and yep, yeah, he just got picked, and then Puig just got picked, and then I don't know what I would do here. Beltre's still there, and Matt, see, I hate people like this. Matt Harvey goes with the 19th pick. I'm trying to take him in pretty much all my leagues near the 60th pick because he's projected like 75, but 19 is way too early when you can get him later, so I don't know. Like, he could probably be top 20 next year, but not this year when you can get him later, so I'm definitely going to go sail here. And then, do I go Beltre, Freeman, or Rendon is the question. See, this is tough, because you know Beltre is going to bat over 300 this year. And he projected the 25 home runs. I like Freeman as well this year. It's either Freeman, Beltre, or Rendon. Beltre, or Rendon. Uh, I'll take Beltre just because he's second round talent in the third round pretty much and He's just got a bat better average than Rendon might not hit m as much home runs or stolen bases, but uh, As long as he stays healthy. He's getting I think he's at 35 now, but uh, I would I think he could do well this year. He could bat over 300. I probably would rather take Rendon now that I'm thinking about it but Yeah, that's I'm lucky. This is not my real draft, but uh, come Sunday, I'm probably going to take um, Rendon. And yeah, so now I got to play the waiting game. I don't pick till 40 and 41. But uh, yeah, so if I'm going to 40 41, the people I'm looking to get is definitely Jordan Zimmerman. He's somebody I definitely want in the 40 40 first pick. And him is a definite. Because I want him to be my second starting pitcher. Or Cueto. If Cueto's there somehow, I will take Cueto. But if not, I'm going to take... um, uh, I'm going to take... Jordan Zimmerman. And then I probably will take Victor Martinez, maybe. Or... uh, Yeah, probably Victor Martinez. I don't want anybody else over him. Yeah. Carlos Gonzalez, maybe. I don't think so. But, um... Yeah, so we're here at the 31st pick, and Ellsbury is still here. Al Cueto just went, so he won't be there. Uh, Ian Desmond, Michael Brantley. Ellsbury just went at 32. That's a steal. Braun's still available. I don't know if I would take a risk on him. If he's healthy this year, he could do really well. But, yeah, he's just got to be healthy. So I'm looking into Zimmerman and Victor Martinez here. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um... Uh, yeah, so I have four picks now, and one person's on auto-draft, and Braun just went Longoria, I wouldn't take a risk on either, just because he wasn't really too good last year, and really never had that one great year, besides, I think, 2009 or 2010, when he had that breakout year, when he came up from the minors, but... Bumgarner went 36. That's kind of a steal for the third round, but I don't think Bumgarner is going to have a good, like, he's going to have a good year, but he's been overhyped a lot just because of that playoff run he had, and you don't get points for playing good in the playoffs. You get points for playing in the regular season good, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I, I just wouldn't take him. Same with Lester. I don't think he's going to have the greatest of years. He will probably have a nice year, what, what he's been doing. I think he'll have an ERA over three, but I'd rather have Zimmerman over him. Just because Zimmerman's been pretty consistent and is, has a greater, not a greater, a better offense in Washington than Chicago. So he would probably be able to pick up more wins. Harper at 37, Upton at 38, two left fielders. And now uh, I could take Corey Dickerson here. I remember picking him up last year and it was a steal to pick him up. Or Marte, but I think I'm going to go what I plan to do. And that's Jordan Zimmerman and Victor Martinez. Uh, Victor Martinez, in my eyes, should have won MVP last year in the AL. Uh, his stats were pretty much better than Trout. The only knock on him was 
Uh, he didn't play a position fielding wise. He was a DH, but his numbers were better than Trout. I think he had maybe one less home run and maybe a couple less RBIs, but batted like 50. Yeah, he batted 335, so that's like 50 points better than Trout did. And I just think he was a better pretty much offensive player. I guess, yeah, you could say that he's defensive, but I think he could have made a better run at um, MVP. But, yeah, I don't pick for a while, so I'm probably just going to um, skip this over, and I'll see you at, like, when I'm f about four picks till I pick. All right, guys, I am one pick away from my sixth round and seventh round picks. And on the board, the top players are David Ortiz, who just went, Alex Cobb, Craig Kimball, Billy Hamilton, Fielder, Sir Marge, Seager. I really like Seager this year, but I have a third baseman already in Beltre, but that's who I'm looking to draft in my uh, real league. But Prince Fielder... Someone I like a lot too, and like if you have a DH week, that's where Victor Martinez can go, and that's where I'm gonna put Prince Fielder at first base. So I get Fielder, and I get another pick as well, and I think I'm gonna go Seager. Yeah, because they had the first base, third base thing, so Seager would probably go to Utility, and yeah, I'm gonna take Seager. I like Seager a lot this year, so I pick. 80, 81, and I wouldn't mind getting, oh, they moved Hunter Pence down, right? Yeah, because he got injured. Uh, what I want them there and then putting him on my DL, I don't, I don't think I'll be able for opening day, but like week two or week three. What am I getting Castro here? Because shortstops are still hard to find. I think the only shortstop you want to take early is, um, is, uh, 2-0. I wouldn't want to take Reyes, especially not Hanley. I think Hanley's going way too high. I kind of like Desmond, but... I'd rather have two low and then just wait on a shortstop that breaks out. Uh, wow, you have a beast pitching staff. Okay, uh, he's got the most home runs, 149. Cruz, Carco, oh wow. Uh, where's my team when it comes to like total points? Second. Yeah, I do like this team. Seager, Sale, and then I, I would have taken Harvey with one of those picks, but um, yeah, Harvey got picked 19. Probably should have picked Rainwright, maybe... Uh, I doubt I'll fall to me at 80. Um, yeah, I'll probably take Star on Castro. And, I, you know, I'll just edit this out and I'll see you guys when I pick. Alright guys, I am one pick away from my 8th and ninth round pick. And I think this is going to be the last two picks I do. Just because it takes so long until I pick again. But, I'm going to go shortstop here. And I'm going to take Star on Castro to be my starting shortstop. And with my next pick, I should probably take outfield, but just for the video purpose, I'll take a pitcher. I'll see who's there. Shields, uh, probably rather have Geo. I'll take DeGrom. Why not? Take the reigning rookie of the year from the National League. But that is it for the video. I did go, uh, what I want to do. I, I had Trout with the first pick, and then in my next two, I took Beltre and Jordan Zimmerman. Then I was able to take. Oh no, Beltre and Sale, and then Zimmerman and Martinez, then Prince Fielder, Seager, Castro, and DeGrom. So that's it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, it, and comment if you want me to see more or even record my actual draft, because I probably can show that. And maybe I'll have like a, my live reaction during it. So um, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.